What is it called? Uttishta Bharata, not Bharata. Bharata. Our country is called Bharat. Bharata. Okay. Do you know why we are having this camp? This year is a very special year for our country. 75th independence from what? From the colonial rule, from the British. 75th year of our independence. So we have Uttishta Bharata camp. And do you know today is a very special day? So I am going to start with one quiz for you. So he mastered the Vedas by the age of? Six years. Not Swami Chinmayananda. He composed the stotram for a poor woman. Can you tell me the name of this stotram? Not Totakashtakam. He, he composed this stotram for a woman who was so poor, very, very poor. But when Shankaracharya went to ask for Bhiksha, she had only one little amla fruit. And she gave that also to Shankaracharya in Bhiksha. So Shankaracharya was moved that she doesn't have anything, but she still has such a big heart. And she gave even this small little thing that she had. And instantly he composed this stotram. And there was shower of gold. What is the stotram? Wonderful. Kanakadhara stotram. And yes, that person is Adi Shankaracharya. He renounced the world at eight years. Can you believe? How many of you are eight year old? Two of you. See, at that age, so small he was. And he renounced the world. And he took up this cause that I want to serve my country, I want to revive Sanatan Dharma. And he went to meet his Guru. At a, such a young age, he met his Guru from Kerala all the way he went to Omkareshwar. Do you know where is Omkareshwar? Super, very good. Madhya Pradesh. From Kerala, he went to Madhya Pradesh. He found his Guru there. And he learnt under his Guru. And by the age of 12, he mastered everything, wrote commentaries on Gita, Upanishad, Brahma Sutras. And four times he travelled across the country on foot. Just imagine you came from Kolad, from Mumbai to Kolad, three hours in bus. And you are like, I am tired, I need chips, I need biscuit, I want to sleep, it's so hot. <sighs> Yeah, all that was also our country. See, such a big country. And he went four times on foot. And imagine, by such a young age, you know, 32 years he left his body. Uh, only 32 years he lived and did so much for our country. So, today is his birthday. A very special day today. Vaishakha Shukla Panchami is the birth date. Now you have to do one exercise, okay? You have to find out from your parents if you don't know. What is the Tithi when you were born? According to the Hindu month, Hindu calendar. Oh, how Akshay Tritya, just two days back it went. Very good. Which Navami? Uttara? No, that is, no, that, you have to find the month also. Navami is the Tithi, you have to find the month also. Falgun, which Tithi? Ah, find out Tithi. You should know the month, Hindu month, like we have January, like today what is the date? 5th May. So May is the month, 5th is the date. Same way, here Vaishakha is the month. And Panchami is the date and our calendar is so precise. Which part of the moon, meaning which uh, fortnight of the moon, bright fortnight or dark fortnight. So Shukla means bright fortnight. Krishna means dark fortnight. See how precise our Tithi is. 
that is the tithi when you are born so you will find out today evening i will do one exercise with all of you okay i will pick up in random get up tell your birth tithi and you have to tell then your group will get some points okay so you find out will you do that yes, so how will you find out call your parents or oh, if, if you don't have a phone then ask somebody anybody has a phone ask them to help you figure out figure out some way he told no prasad ji told you share no tell them to call and give you the phone he didn't say don't call parents he just said don't say mummy daddy okay so today is today and tomorrow two days we have adi shankara jayanti because panchami falls today also tomorrow also and more about adi shankara charya ji you will know see shankara charya ji took went across the country and he did something called digvijay yatra where he won in debates and he did lots of uh, arguments with people he established temples he traveled he conducted many rituals he established shri chakra in some places many nice things he did so all of you will do that through the activities today after the uh, my session after lunch so you will have lots of things to experience what shankaracharya ji did you will experience are you ready and you should participate full whole heartedly okay in your camp book we have a very important page give me one book huh. we have this such a nice camp book we have made whenever you have free time you go through it okay lot of sevikas have put lot of hard work in this in this book if you see on this uh, page number see page number 116 okay later on you read through that page what is the page 116 page 116 we have the yeah we have shankaracharya ji's life his school achievements his philosophy of oneness everything so you read that and keep that will help you in that activity okay and your team can get lots of points also and you will also know many things about shankaracharya's very amazing life he had you know we should have people like him as our role models ki are shankaracharya ji was such a great person i want to be like him not that you have to renounce the world and leave your family and go but so many things he did for our country that we should do so today is a very special day now tell me our country is called bharat no why is our country called bharat there was a rural called bharata he put the hand into the mouth of the lion oh acha is it is it after him our country is named bharat really not that bharat of ram lakshman bharat shatrughna not that no it is after king dushyant son oh ho i see okay we will come to that also that after whom our country is named bharat but the meaning of the word bharat do you know let us listen to our gurudev explaining the meaning of the word bharat see this video very interesting take away these chairs ye ye le lo side mein rakh do you can see
the West. A country is called by the name of the king. Similarly, here also they thought that if Bharat, this country is called Bharat. Why? Because there was a king called Bharat and Bharat king and therefore Bharat. Now again the question comes, why did Bharat's father give him the name Bharat? No, no, that is his surname. This is not a country of wolves and tins and stones. <laughs> Mr. Stone, Mr. Tin, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> this is a land of meaning. So why did he give it the name? Ba means light. Prabhata. Paswara. Paskar. Paskar nevara. Paskar. Prabhata. Bhanu. Prabha. Bhava means light. Eliti meaning reveling in. So Bhavaneta means one who revels in light. People who live convincingly, who live honestly to their own conviction, ready to sacrifice everything in order to live the right knowledge. Those who live in light and not in utter ignorance, they are called the Bhavaneta. Therefore, spiritual Bharat has no frontiers. There are Bharatiyas in America, in England, in Europe, in Australia, in North Pole, and South Pole. By the accident of birth, you cannot become a Bharati. That is why I mean our constitution said Bharat, bracket, otherwise called India. <laughs> Indian you can become anyway, but a Bharat you cannot become. A Bharat is one who rebels in wisdom, fearlessly live his own conviction, refusing to compromise. And in Bharat today, there are no Bharat Reveling it. So now you are all Bharatiya in the sense, not a political Bharatiya. Political Bharat is a shrinking thing called a country. <coughs> but the spiritual Bharat has no frontiers, it is around the world. Wherever there will be anyone, in whatever caste or creed or color they may be, he who is living the spiritual value, he is a Bharat. Not because of a passport, not because of your income tax, not because you are living here with a ration card or the meaningless vote. He is Bharat, therefore. At that time, Krishna must have addressed Arjuna, but over the shoulders of Arjuna, he is talking to the entire mankind. Whoever he be, he wants a spiritual value. Hey, Bharat! So, who is a Bharat here? So, what is the meaning of Bharat? What did Gurudev say? I can't hear. One who revels in light is a Bharatiya. Okay, see lights came on. <laughs> Reveling in light means what? Does it mean tube light? Does it mean all the time I am sitting below tube light? Or in the sun? Light means what? What does light symbolize? Knowledge. Brilliance. Positive attitude, goodness, huh? 
सोल्स पावर हाँ नॉलेज ब्रिलियंस पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड गुडनेस स्ट्रेंथ ऑल दैट इज लाइट ओके एंड वॉट इज डार्कनेस देन ऑपोजिट नो सो इग्नोरेंस वीकनेस नेगेटिव थॉट्स प्रसादी टोल यू नो कंप्लेनिंग कंटिन्यूसली कंप्लेनिंग देन दैट इज यू आर भारत यू भारत यू आर भारतीय और नॉट एट दैट टाइम नॉट ए भारतीय सो अ पर्सन हु लिवस दिस हायर वे ऑफ लाइफ इज कॉल्ड भारतीय नाउ द वर्ड भारत डज नॉट मीन ओनली आवर कंट्री द वर्ड भारत ऑल्सो मीन्स ऑल ऑफ अस द पीपल हु लिव हियर ऑल्सो आर कॉल्ड भारत ओनली दिस वर्ड उत्तिष्ट भारत वेर डज इट कम यू नो Gurudev told in the talk actually somebody told to somebody he is told in the talk very good krishna told to arjuna and in the gita it comes tasmad uttishta bharata hence arjuna you arise so bharat meaning you saw uttishta means what stand up that is meaning of uttishta come on uttishta stand up quickly because we are going to play a nice game now okay get up get up stand up now little 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 move move on the sides thoda distance thoda front also you should have some distance back also okay uttishta means what tishta means okay so now what i say that you have to do remember what i say you have to do okay tishtha quickly you can't be so slow utishtha tishtha tishtha out 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 utishtha tishtha tishtha utishtha utishtha tishtha उत्तिष्ठा तिष्ठा 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 उत्तिष्ठा तिष्ठा तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा 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 तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा हाँ तिष्ठा तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा तिष्ठा उत्तिष्ठा हा हा यू आर लॉस्ट इट टायर्ड गो फ्रॉम देर सो दिस इज द मीनिंग उत्तिष्ठा एंड तिष्ठा तिष्ठा मीन्स सिट डाउन सो समबडी हु इज डिजेक्टेड to that person bhagwan said uttishta bharat arise arjuna okay tishta sit down ha huh. yeah <laughs> okay so now see this open your book page number 12 lavanya chanted this shlokas you know and all of you were chanting with her sahana vavatu samasta jana kalyane vakra tunda and when then she said uttaram yat samudra everybody is looking what what is she chanting we don't know so you want to know what she chanted This is what she chanted. These are three beautiful verses from Vishnu Puran. I forgot to mention that you write in your book on page twelve at the bottom. You have in the third chapter in Vishnu Puran. There is a description of our country Bharat. Okay, and many other places also it is mentioned why about our country. Why the country is called Bharat. so these three verses we will chant every day in our class 
Okay, by the end of this camp, you should memorize these three. Okay, so repeat after me. Shri Parashara Uvacha Uttaram Yat Samudrasya Himadreshaiva Dakshinam Varsham Tadbharatam Nama Bharati Yatra Santatihi Okay, together we will chant now. Shri Parashara Uvacha, together all of us. Uttaram Yat Samudrasya Himadreshaiva Dakshinam Varsham Tadbharatam Nama Bharati Yatra Santatihi Such a nice meaning it has. You know, that which is in the north of the ocean. Uttaram Yat Samudrasya. North of the ocean. Which Bharat is in the north of which ocean? Indian Ocean. You know what is the what is the Sanskrit name of Indian Ocean? Hind Mahasagar. It is called Hind Mahasagar. Okay. It means the same. Hindu Mahasagar or Hind Mahasagar, you can say. So what is to the north of the ocean and which is to the south of the Himalayas? Himadres Chaiva Dakshinam. So between the Himalayas and this Hindu Mahasagar is our great country. Varsham Tad Bharatam Nama. So our country in Sanskrit we also call as Bharat Varsh. Varsh does not mean only year. Varsh also means land. So Bharat is the Bharat Varsh. And Bharati Yatra Santatihi. So all of us are called Bharatiyas. The children who live in this land, all the children, they are called Bharati. Okay, second shloka. Nava Yojana Sahasro Vistarosya Mahamune Karma Bhumiriyam Swargam Apavargam cha gachhatam. How big is our country? Nava Yojana Sahasro. It is 9,000 Yojanas. One Yojan is 8 miles. 9,000 Yojan is how many miles? 72,000 miles. So big. And Karma Bhumiriyam, and this is a great land for what? Those who want to work hard, not for lazy people. Why don't you get up early morning, let us go. Uh -huh, I don't want to come. You know, some of you didn't get up early morning, some people come late. And if you come late, you make others wait also. If you don't reach on time, so many people in the bus, they waited for you, no? Unnecessary, they also got up so early and they came and then they are waiting. Why? Uh, two people could not come. Why? Uh, they could not get taxi. Why? Uh, they got up late. So they started late. Uh, they didn't plan properly. Something. This is not a land for people who are dull, who are boring, who are not enthusiastic. Why don't you do rappling? No, 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 I can't do rappling. It's very difficult. Then what will you do? I will sit in the chair and eat gulab jambu. Eric, be daring, be courageous, be strong. Okay? That is the spirit of this land. Such people, they are called Bharati. It's a karma bhumi for such people who want to achieve. Do you want to achieve great things? I don't think you want to achieve great things. Look at that. If I am asking you want to achieve great things, yeah, some five people are saying. You are future of the country, no? If you do great things, then only country can do great things or not? Karma Bhumi is for such people. And not only you can achieve great things here, you can also achieve great things hereafter. You can go to heaven also, you can get liberation also. It is such a great land where people have taught to the whole world. Do you know who, which country is the Vishwa Guru of the whole world? 
वर्ल्ड टीचर इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज विच कंट्री इंडिया वॉट इज दैट भारत भारत इज द विश्व गुरु इवन टूडे सो मेनी पीपल कम अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड टू कम हियर टू स्टडी हु गेव योगा टू द वर्ल्ड योगा इज फ्रॉम वेर विच रिलीजन रिमेंबर योगा इज हिंदू डोंट से योगा इज नॉट हिंदू योगा इज हिंदू इट इज कम फ्रॉम अवर पतंजलि योगा सूत्र इट इज अ हिंदू ब्यूटिफुल ट्रेडिशन हु गेव मेडिटेशन टू द वर्ल्ड हु गेव जीरो टू द वर्ल्ड हु टॉट ग्रेविटी टू द वर्ल्ड हाँ I thought Newton taught na Newton taught or Newton retaught Newton retaught it is already mentioned in Surya Siddhant by Aryabhatta and do you know one very amazing thing the birthday whose birthday it is today Adi Shankara's birthday na today do you know in 786 AD Adi Shankaracharya ji wrote commentaries on Prashnopanishad and gravity is mentioned in his commentary in Prashnopanishad as Akarshana Shakti do you know that even our rishis were scientists you open Prashnopanishad and you read the commentary in that he has written Akarshana Shakti and he has written so many things beautiful about nature amazing it is so india has always taught to the world do you know who traveled across the seas first we always hear vasco da gama and columbus and all of that but indians were traveling across the seas much before the vasco da gama and columbus do you know what was our mariner's compass called they we call it as mariner's compass but we were using this earlier also as matsya yantra and our great sailors <coughs> they used to export spices to the middle east to the southeast asia do you know one minute i'll come to you do you know which is the biggest hindu temple in the world <coughs> somebody said it loudly it is angkor wat temple and where is it you know russia where is it in russia it is in cambodia not colombia it is in cambodia and do you know who built it you find out world map you take find out where is cambodia and from india south india and especially tamil nadu a chola king he went all the way there to cambodia and he built we were traveling across the seas much before the world knew this is the land of our great ancestors and you know in your book we have given to you i am just mentioning some facts i don't have time to mention so many but you see this whole section of page 69 to 94 this much so many great achievements of india we have mentioned in that read all these and feel proud that you are a bharatiya you belong to such a great legacy of people and should you do great things like them or should you just eat drink enjoy see movies and then become you know old and then die they didn't travel the whole world vishnu bhagwan saved them from the drowning where the whole world was in deluge so this portion you should read and we have given those in very nice see like page number 91 you see what i told you it is there law of gravitation adi shankara acharya who lived 460 bce some people believe that 460 bce he lived some people say 780 ad there is a dispute on his birth date birth year he wrote in his commentary on the prashna upanishad if the divinity of the earth would not pull down the this body by supporting apana this body would have floated anywhere in space he wrote that and the word is akarshana shakti he has written there then ancient indian scholar varaha mihira varaha mihira is a astronomer he also wrote 
planet earth being surrounded by various stellar bodies situated in space is similar to an iron sphere remaining suspended between two magnets like that there are so many beautiful things in our country we should know about all this and feel proud and what work they did we should build upon that no we should do greater work like them or not and we should build more and more so that is why this shloka says that land where people have such high vision good goals they want to do something which is extraordinary you want to be ordinary or extraordinary ordinary we are not talking about dosa sada dosa and super sada dosa we are talking about potential people do you know now what happens to natural resources if we use them when we use natural resources they get consumed okay they get destroyed but do you know what happens to human resources when we don't use them then they get destroyed so much potential all of us have no and you have come to this camp to manifest that potential so that is why we are here now somebody told that bharat the word bharat the country is named as bharat based on the king who was named bharat and who was the son of shakuntala and dushyant okay this is only partially true it was named based on the king who is bharat but he was not the the country is not named after the son of dushyant the dushyant and shakuntala it is named after another bharat another bharat see the i i don't know if you can see very clearly from there but it's also there in your book so you can read from the book also it is on the page 29 see that king swayambhu manu and shatrupa they had three daughters and two sons one of their sons is priyavrata he was the youngest son priyavrat priyavrat son one of the 10 sons is agnidhra agnidhras one of the nine sons is nabhi and nabhi son is rishabdev the only son of nabhi is rishabdev and rishabdev son is bharat he was one of the 100 sons of rishabdev but the most eldest son and the most talented one and he was a chakravarti samrat after him our country is named bharat will you remember this he is named after the country is named after which bharat the son of who rishabdev ji and this rishabdev ji after he gave the kingdom to his son bharat he renounced the world and he also became a great monk and great ascetic and the jain tradition believes that rishabdev ji is their first tirthankar mahavir is their last tirthankar so such great people our country is named behind the bharat who is the son of rishabdev everybody bharat is the son of rishabdev bharat is the son of rishabdev bharat is the son of rishabdev don't say bharat of the dushyant and shakuntala okay even kalidas ji in his shakuntala abhignana shakuntalam he has not written that country is named after this bharat somehow some people just cooked it up that it is named after this bharat this vishnu puran has this full and what is the proof somebody say no no samaj i don't believe what is the proof tell me show me the proof see behind next page see that i have quoted from bhagavat also and from vishnu puran also and on page 32 i have given you so many other quotations so with proper evidence we learn to establish facts okay अजनाभम नाम एतर्षम भारतम आरभ्य व्यपदिशी डू यू नो बिफोर अवर कंट्री वॉज कॉल्ड भारत वॉट वॉज द नेम इट वॉज अजनाभ वर्ष सी आई हेव गिवन ऑल द हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड दैट अजनाभ दैट वॉज द नेम ऑफ अवर कंट्री इट वेरी ब्यूटिफुल दिस होल थिंग इफ यू रीड नो इट इज वेरी अमेजिंग हाउ अवर कंट्री केम टू बी कॉल्ड भारत so this is what it is and we are going to see through the camp a few of these aspects 
Akhand Bharat is our vision. Akhand means unbroken. So Bharat, we have made an acronym. B for beliefs unveiled. So many wrong notions we have. What are those wrong notions? You see in the book we have given. So why is our country named Bharat? That itself is a wrong belief that we have unveiled. Then, what is Akhand Bharat? Do you know? Akhand Bharat. What was Bharat before? This was Bharat. Can you believe? This entire thing was Bharat. Such a big place. That's why it is said in the shloka, how many miles? 72,000 miles. Now if somebody says from Rajasthan to hmm, you know this uh, Bengal I don't think it is 72,000 miles. I think they are telling something just like that. Cooking it up. No. It's not saying only the, di the, the what do you call the or what is it called? The length. It's not talking only the length. Yeah. It's all this Sumatra, Java, Cambodia, all this. Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Burma, Nepal, Tibet, Pakistan, Afghanistan, all this was part of Bharat. And I am telling you historically, when did India got divided, you know? See this next map. All this we have given to you in the book. Akhand Bharat is on page 33. And this Khand Bharat is on page 28. See that? If somebody, if you have lost, see if you have a house, okay? One house you have, a nice courtyard you have, a garden you have. And you have nice, you know, the jhula, the swing in that garden. And you have a place to play. And if somebody comes and encroaches and occupies your place, what will you do? Will you allow them to take it away or will you fight for it? Huh? Will you say, no, no, you know, they are creating a lot of violence. They are coming and beating me. Chalo, you keep it. Will you say that? Will you fight for it or not? Why will you fight for it? It is ours, no? So this country is ours, no? People are wanting to break this country. There are so many terrorists who are wanting to destroy uh, people in our country and they already destroyed so many and they are wanting to take away Kashmir. Will you give away Kashmir? No. Will you say that, oh Kashmir, what is the use of all this violence, you know? Let's give it away to them. We believe in non-violence. We are called tolerant people. Will you say that? Why? Because it is... So, we lost Afghanistan in 1876 and today what is the situation of Afghanistan? Taliban has taken over na, fully. Think about it. Then after Afghanistan, what did we lose? Tell me. Hello. See the year and then tell me. After 1896, which is the next one? 1904, we lost Nepal. After that, Bhutan. After that, Tibet. After that, Bar Burma. After that, Pakistan and Bangladesh, same time. See how we have lost so many parts of the world. I mean, so many parts of our country. Even Sri Lanka, I think, uh, 1930, 1930. So all this we have lost. Who will regain this? If your house is encroached in the time when your father was there and he fought but he could not fight and they have come and taken away the land, will you fight for your land or not? I am not saying go and destroy people. But is it, is it not our country? Because a lot of people will tell you that why should we fight, let us be peaceful and you know, break the country. Tamil Nadu wants to become separate, Kerala wants to become separate, Northeast wants to become separate, Punjab wants to become separate, Kashmir already so many terrorists are fighting over it. Then what will happen to Bharat? There will not be anything called Bharat, there will only be some states. All divided, destroyed. So whose responsibility it is to maintain unity? 
That's why Uttishta Bharata. Uttishta Bharata means arise Bharata. Know who you are. What is your country? What is your glory? And what kind of people were your ancestors? So that you can live a life of substance. Otherwise, what are we doing today? Hey bro, how are you? All that. From where did bro bro come? What do we do when we meet each other? Hi. What was our culture? Namaste. And do you know this Namaste has saved the entire world in COVID times? What they were doing earlier? Shake hand, shake hand, shake hand. Now what they do? Namaste. Because I don't have to touch you. No germs, nothing. I can greet you nicely. Namaste. And what does that mean? The divinity in you is the same as the divinity in me. I salute the divinity in you. That's what it means. Such a nice thing. So this whole camp, will you follow this? When you meet each other, what will you say? Namaste. Either you say Namaste or you say Hari Om. Okay. So this is our beautiful country. Now this session I will stop with this one question. Do you want Bharat to be a superpower or a happy country? Why, why you don't want Bharat to be superpower? How many want Bharat to be happy country? Oh, oh so many people, huh? And how many? Okay, down, down, down. Now you can't say both. You have to choose one. Okay, you can't say both. You can't raise hands for both. Now, how many want Bharat to be superpower? Okay, so now we will see the logic. Okay, why you want Bharat to be superpower? Wait, wait, one by one, huh? Okay, so we will be first if we are superpower and we will be happy also. So that is what his logic is because nobody is more than first. Okay, superpower? No, tell me superpower. Though people who are. Huh? Very good. Okay, so to protect ourselves so that they don't destroy us for that superpower. Okay, anybody else? Any other reason you have? Yeah. Ha, so same thing, protect. Okay, you don't call me sir. Okay, you call me Swamiji. Superpower. Ha. No, no, superpower. Happy later. Superpower. Ha. What, what? Slow, thoda slow. We can take back territories. Ha. So you are saying we will become superpower, then we'll become happy. Because we'll get everything back. Okay, very good. So you want to become happy only, finally. Superpower is a way to it. Okay. Okay, now the people who are saying about happy. You want to say about superpower? Correct. So it's not by force that we can take back. You have to take back in different ways. Yeah. Okay, but uh, correct. Happy country does not come from power. It comes from your heart. But can we, can we uh, say that that is enough for us? Should we not become strong then? Will happiness not make us strong? No, but that's why I say I mean, we are not forcing people to join. We will slowly, slowly spread the culture and people will join. Uh, no, no, not necessary. Because people, because we are a good country, other countries will stop attacking. That is not true. People attack because they have their own ideas to expand. Just because you are a happy person, will some thief come and not steal away things from you? 
will some pickpocket pickpocketer not pick up who oh, is a very happy person you know i don't want to disturb him i will go to unhappy fellow and then i will pick up his pocket does the thief think like that no they actually many of them they actually think that if somebody is not a strong person and they are just very you know weak easily you can uh, because they are very happy happy some people think like that that if we are happy we are not strong so they will come and loot us away only so anyway lots of questions you have lot of uh, interaction we had last two for happiness for happiness last two wait wait I, he has not spoken ha huh? Very good, excellent, wonderful. Last one, yes. Superb. When we are happy, we spread also happiness. I know lots of you want to answer. We will take up again. I have a session after lunch, but I will leave you today right now with this thought. You think little more about it. and we will see in the next session after lunch what about this question okay